Michael's walked in and announced he wants to do an outfit of the day. No, I'm, I'm going to the golf course. <laughs> and it's, You're really proud of this beginning. outfit you it's, put together. It's, it's the beginning kind of climate change in Texas. This is so. your idea of warm of dressing for cold? It's starting to get cooler. All Since right, so tell me what you have on, Mr. Goldberg. Uh, Nike Sport Fit golf pants. Uh -huh. Got them at Golfsmith. Yes. Uh, Brooks Brothers golf vest. They make golf vests? Kind of vest? cool. Yeah, it can function as like a vest you wear for business casual days too. Okay. Uh, Nike TW you love... line golf shirt, uh, I which I really like. You're, you're these, changing. These are, these are really cool golf belts that I've gotten. It looks... Sort of. I got it at golf. I gotta I tell you, to babe. It um, it looks a little. That lab, the logo looks a little wrong. I don't know about that. It looks like it's um. Cool. Never mind. We'll discuss it off camera. What it looks like. And then you're changing your shoes, I assume. Well, obviously, I've got golf shoes at the club. Who did? Wh where do you get your golf shoes? I get them at Golfsmith. Okay, and then we can't make our bed because. Uh, Why can't we make calls. our bed? Foot because of you two, Footjoy icons. For husbands out there that are looking for a really cool classic golf shoe. And you aren't going to be cold? Like, that's all you're wearing? No, it's going to be 71, I think. It's not yet. Mid-60s right now. Okay. It's, it's freezing. Meanwhile, I am looking particularly glamorous. <laughs> I am wearing... I haven't even... I just... I don't even know. My hair is in a scrunchie. My old Calvin Klein eyeglasses. I don't know the model number. A cardigan from... Loft. Uh, from last year. I love this. My Joe Fresh dress over my... Um, Target sleep leggings. I look like a like a like a crazy person, and my head is pounding still. So, alrighty, I'm gonna go take a shower because that should help. And uh, hopefully, next time you see me today, I will look a little more put together. Or not? I don't really care. It's Sunday. Who cares, right? We have success. Okay, this isn't the best view in the world. It's gonna get worse. Um, actually better if you don't have to look at my face. Look what I did. This is my very expensive, slightly useless new camera. But this is what it's looking at. It's connected to my uh, computer, so check it out. Wow. See? Yay! Now, I think, okay, I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to use the battery on the big camera. I think I figured it out. I mean, I figured out. The problem was I was using an HDMI cable to connect it to the computer and not a USB to micro USB. So, woo! I'm going to actually go to Best Buy later and get a longer cord so I can sit even farther away. But now that I can see it on the laptop on a big screen. I can see exactly if I'm in focus or not and what I need to do. So thank you. <laughs> God, I figured it out. It's only after one o'clock on Sunday. I've been sitting here for hours, but I did it. Yes. And thank you to the viewer who said USB cord and not HDMI. That, that got the ball rolling. So now I'm still not going to get dressed though. <laughs> now I'm going to go wash my brushes and watch a vlog or two, or ten, catch up on my YouTube video watching. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Okay, can we just all do a little happy dance? Woo, okay, bye. Guys, I thought I would do an impromptu Costco haul while I'm standing in the back of my car. I just picked up, for a really good price, this new down comforter, because the one we had is from Target. It's like many, many years old, and it's flat as a pancake. It is, it is dead. And I needed new fluffier pillows, so I got these for 15 bucks, these down alternative ones. I made out like a bandit today. I got a lot of stuff. And then I will never need cotton rounds again. I got these Swiss Spurs, 900 of them for 12 bucks. Plus, it comes with leopard print cotton swabs. That's a reason to buy them. And then I'm giving this a shot. Who knows, this could have been a bad call. I got the Kirkland brand moisture shampoo and conditioner. It's starting to rain, uh-oh. I can feel my hair expanding and the conditioner. We'll see, I like for the price. Looks good. And then I got a bunch of random stuff that is like food related. But the one thing I wanted to show you is that um, my kids love these, even my big kids. These are the Cliff Bars, the kid brand. They just, they eat these all day long. I got chicken breast. I got a giant salmon filet for 50, under 15 bucks. We're making salmon tomorrow night. And hard boiled eggs and Gatorade. So that was that, we're gonna bring that home. Uh, I'm gonna go drop off the dogs for a little grooming and then we're gonna do the real grocery shopping.
What's left of it anyway? Not much left. This is my new miniature English sheepdog named Wrigley. Wrigley! And then hopefully the next time you see him, he will look more like a Westie. You're doing a very good imitation of an English, a mini sheepdog. Yes, we're on our way. Mimi's over there. I think all you can see is her back end. She's looking out the window. But Wrigley's just chilling on a chair and a half. Look at you. Small dog taking over the whole back seat. All right, um, so I have two fat Westies. Which one is that? That's Wrigley. Wrigley, you don't look so great. These are not the best haircuts, but they're clean. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we had homemade chicken tetrazzini. That is all that we ate. It's very rich. I got the recipe from, where'd it go? There it is, Jada's cookbook. I will find a link, this one. And it was the most time consuming and complicated recipe I've ever made. It took an hour and a half just to get it into the oven and then another 25 minutes to cook. But it was really good. So now I think I'm going to put it in small containers and send some to lunch with the kids and freeze the rest in like individual portion size. But yeah, if I ever need to make something for a sick person for the, to feed a family, Fairly labor intensive, but it's really good and a little goes a long way. You could feed a small army with this stuff. So there it is. It has a baked Parmesan breadcrumb crust on the top and pasta and chicken and mushrooms and onions and cream. I should also add incredibly fattening. So tomorrow night is grilled salmon. Gotta even that out. It's a lot of food. Hey guys, I'm sorry that I'm just, it's like 2.30 and I'm just picking up the camera to vlog. I have been at the mall for the better part of the morning. Um, and our mall has outside music playing all the time, and I was in Sephora. They never let you film in Sephora, but this is what happened. So I'm really excited to tell you guys that I've been chosen to be a brand ambassador for Sephora. Like, professionally speaking, as a beauty blogger, it cannot get for me any better than that. So I had to do some prep and pick up a few things that I bought me. Um, not them. I bought it. Anyway, so those videos, the first one should be coming out on Wednesday and then there'll be another one in December, but I'm really excited and it's really fun to shop with you guys in mind. So that's what the most of the day was spent doing. And then I got rained on, so my hair is kind of yucky. And now I'm just setting up to do a what's in my bag video because I haven't done one in a long time. And I have a bag that I've had for a little while, this guy. And um, look at my new bag charm, so cute. Anyway, um, so I wanted to show you that one because it's a little different from the usual bags that I carry. And yeah, that's all that's going on here. So I'm gonna, this is very exciting, right? There's my chair. I have to obviously raise the tripod a little bit, but I have not given up, but postponed filming with um, the big camera for now because I'm in a hurry and I wanna get this, the what's in my purse video up then tomorrow. Today's Tuesday, I want it up for Wednesday, so I'm not gonna have time to fiddle with it. And, um, but I'm really hoping that I'll figure it out before the end of the week, because I, I think I got it. But, ugh, look at this. But I have lots going on the rest of the week. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, that's exciting. Thursday, I'm gonna be on live television, and Friday we're taking the dogs to the vet, that could be exciting. So, oh, and we're going to play tomorrow night at the high school. Lots to vlog, but not now. I'm gonna go get to, get to work, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm just dropping off a lunch at school. Jake didn't actually forget it. I waylaid Jake and made him forget his lunch, so since it was my fault, I'm running it by the school, and it's on my way to my hair appointment, because look at those roots. But anyway, I wanted to show you this. I think it's really nice across the country that everyone is still showing their support for France, and the flags are flying at half-mast, and have been since, uh, well, since Saturday morning, I guess. So, we are all still very sad. And uh, I just think, you know, it's sad that something so horrible brings us all together, but I, I hope we all remember this feeling of solidarity as the days and weeks go on and months that we all don't forget we really are just one, one big family that live in different places and speak different languages, but we all want the same things. Well, I guess not all of us, but most of us want the same things. All right, now off to something frivolous, like getting my hair done. Hey guys, exciting news. I finally figured out 
how to focus the camera. And the key is for me, two things. One, having Michael here <laughs> so that I can sit in the chair and he can do the thing. But I finally figured out how to hook that thing up to the, my laptop and that makes the screen for me huge so I can see without a doubt if I'm in focus or not. So hallelujah, I filmed two videos because I was so excited. One will go up, one will have already gone up, laser hair removal video, which was incredibly embarrassing to film, especially with my husband standing there. But you know what? I will take one for the team and talk about embarrassing subjects if it's gonna help somebody else. I mean, my God, I've already done a video on how I shave my face. They got picked up by the Today Show, so what's a little laser hair removal, right? Anyway, the point of this is I was also at Target and Mike and I were invited to an ugly Christmas sweater party. I don't even own a pretty Christmas sweater, let alone an ugly one. So I was at Target looking for something else and I saw this. Oh my God, how awesome is this? Watch this, you ready? So you flip this guy over and you do this. It tucks into a, in a little pocket, but for demonstration purposes. I mean, come on. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? I love it. I got it in a large, it's in the junior section. I don't know how long it's gonna be around. There were only a handful left and there's not that many Jewish people in San Antonio, so I think it's gonna go fast. But there are also Christmas sweaters there. Hang on, I'm trying to conserve the battery. There are also Christmas sweaters there, but oh, I love it. It's so obnoxious and horrible. Nordstrom had one. It didn't light up, and it said high maintenance instead of high maintenance. High is the Hebrew word for life, and apparently people were offended and removed it. Nordstrom removed it. I didn't find it offensive. Like, if you can't laugh at yourself, right? So, oh well. But this is probably much less expensive than the Nordstrom option, and I, I just, I, it's giving me a good chuckle. So I just wanna check in and share my good news that one, I found an ugly Hanukkah sweater, and two, I finally figured out how to work the new camera. Hey guys, I am in the, I don't know where we are. I guess we're in an extra studio, which is now a green room. And um, I'm here with the famous, there she is. She's bending over. The Elaine Turner's over there. Like the real one, like she's a real person. It's not just a name on a box. And Heather's over there. You might remember her from the March meetup. She was much thinner then. She's having a baby. She's still thin. All you have is a tiny little. No. Oh my God, please keep saying that. Oh, we're like, yeah, like, 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 a, like a basketball. On that I, I, I feel like you don't even look pregnant until you look oh, down. You're like, oh, look. My face is No. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, and there's Erin. There she is. And we are getting ready to go on San Antonio Living. And um, we're all modeling Elaine's amazing little black dress. Is it a little black dress? Yeah. It's LBD. a little, it's an LBD. And it's amazing because we're all pretty much wearing the same size. It fits all of us. And it all, it looks different on all of us. So, um, I'll link in the description box to the, um, TV spot so you can see it. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm also wearing my shoes. Oh, and then, um, Tori Johnson is here. She is a blogger from San Antonio, and she's documenting this as well. So I'll link everybody below, but we're going to finish getting pretty. So I have to go. I'll see you after the show. Hey, guys. So there's Shelly. We're on the new set. It's really cool. I'll just do this. Okay, now I'm going to put everything away, and uh, I'll see you guys after the show. Hey, guys. So fast forward a gajillion hours. It's now Wednesday night, and... That was really fun. I had a really good day. And I came home. Elaine was so sweet. She's like, I'd really like you to pick something out and take it home. I'm like, okay, okay, I can do that. So I brought home the bag that I got to model, which is awesome. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you. Okay, but now back to my glamorous life. This is why I don't get nice things or expensive things in this house. Because somebody, I don't know if it's a person or a dog, got blood on my new bedspread. <sighs> Probably a dog. So, um... If you live in a house of boys and dogs, you always have hydrogen peroxide because that's what gets blood out. So we're gonna give that a go and I'll let you know if it works. Ha, totally worked. It's wet, but clean. Woohoo! Alrighty then, hydrogen peroxide foams right up. Totally gets rid of the blood. <sighs> Doesn't get rid of the people who bleed on my stuff, but hey, that's okay. Hey guys, my hair is kind of crazy. I just finished filming a 
um, kind of, woo, let me find light. There we go, a day to night video um, using all drugstore products. It was in partnership with my local drugs, my, not my local drugstore, my local, well it is a drugstore, but it's also a grocery store and apparently a makeup store, H-E-B, my favorite grocery store in the world. And in case you guys didn't know, I just wanna, you should know, but when someone like me or anyone on YouTube says, I partnered with so-and-so, that is code for this is a sponsored video. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, to put it that way, it sounds a little nicer, but I just, it might not be clear. So I always put it again in the description box that it this is a sponsored video, but I just wanted to put that out there. So if you ever hear someone say, I partnered with, that's what that means. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about the lipstick. It was funny, they said, can you do a drugstore makeup video for us and we'll send you products. And I said, well, of course, but I have a ton. <laughs> I like, I have quite, I have quite the extensive drugstore collection. And I realized as I was going through my stuff that I use a lot of drugstore stuff every single day. But what I did not have is this lipstick. It's the Revlon HD formula and I have only had it on about an hour. So I don't know how well it wears, but this is so moisturizing and I really like it. Like I think, I know it didn't get great reviews on YouTube, but I, I might go pick up a couple more colors because I'm going to, I'm actually headed to the mall to pick up some more stuff for a Sephora video that I'm filming later this weekend. And then I'm going to lunch with my lunch lady girlfriends at HEB and I'm going to see if they have more colors. And I'm also picking up um, the Wet n Wild eye primer that I love because I heard they're discontinuing it. So I wanna buy it like every tube I can before that goes. So I'm off to the store, off to the mall, to the grocery store and home. Very exciting day. Hey guys, totally forgot to film today's lunch with the girls. It's just one of those days, but I hit the grocery store, H-E-B, and I hit CVS and I wanna show you some of the stuff I picked up in Prompt 2 Drugstore Haul. Um, I got another Wet n Wild take on the day eyeshadow primer. I want to do a comparison. So my favorite bronzer of the moment is the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer in Luminous. And I saw this Milani one. Can you see? This is Glow Baked Bronzer. And I think that they are going to be similar. I also picked up another Milani lipstick, my all-time favorite drugstore. This one is Blushing Beauty. And it is this shade. I know that the light's not great. Here we go. It's like this. So it's almost like a toned down reddish pink, which I think is gonna be really pretty. I was intrigued by, I see a color thing. I tend to get the same stuff over and over. This is the new Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade something. Like why, why do they not just make it very big, what the name is? I don't know what the freaky name is, it's this. All right, 20 minutes later, no clue what the name of that is. I also got another Revlon lipstick. I tried, H-E-B sent me one to try, I really liked it, so I wanted to try one that's not so red. It's what I'm wearing now and it's called Rose. It's one of their Ultra HD lipsticks. And, I've heard big rave reviews about these guys, the NYX Butter Lipsticks. It was a gift set for 12 bucks, which probably didn't need to get, but um, they're in the shades Sandy Kiss, Root Bear Float, and Afternoon Heat. So those should be interesting. I believe, no, wait, there's more. Oh, and I got a new foundation that I wanted to try from Revlon. This one is the Air Photo, <laughs> Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Ivory. So, a little drugstore haul for ya. I really like how the Ultra HD lipstick feels on my lips. I really do. Really wish I could tell you what color this is. All right, now we're gonna go round up the dogs and we're gonna go check out a new vet. Guys, we are at a new vet and Michael and I are having a difference of opinion. I think the dogs can be off leash in the exam room and Michael's putting them all back on leash. But Bosley is checking this out. What are you doing? He's checking things out. The Westies, well keep the Westies on leash, Bosley's fine. No, Marty. Yes. Oh, nice. Where's he gonna go? Okay. 
happy Saturday. It is a happy Saturday because Michael and I are finally doing one of our favorite things. It's cheese night. And we're here in the cheese section at H-E-B. We usually have samples. It's hard to pick a cheese, but Michael likes the more harsh. I like the most punchy cheese there is. Look at this. What is more this? punchy, better. Apricot, cranberry, almond, stuffed brie. But I don't want to have to wait to heat it up. I want to just shove it in my mouth. Let's see what we got. Let's keep going. This could be fun. It's honeycomb. These bags. I don't really know you, how you work that, so. Okay, there are other people here doing cheese night, so I'm gonna turn it off and I'll show you what we come up with. I love this gray. It does come in a variety of other colors. I'm really very excited, honestly, about the purse charm. I know this is ridiculous, but 